Hi, my name is Chris, and I'm here to help you stay connected. In this video, I want to show you how a broadband hamnet mesh network works. So what exactly is a broadband hamnet mesh network? Well, let me tell you. Broadband hamnet is an amateur radio network of computers and routers over a network. Now, typically you think, of course, the network being the internet, but although the internet can be a component of it, a broadband hamnet network is its own separate network, completely independent of the internet. So you can connect the internet if you want for further access, but it's designed to be deployed in areas where there's either an emergency conditions or maybe where you just want to have um, radios talk to each other or phones or computers talk to each other without having to rely on the primary internet. So let me show you what I've got set up here. It's a lovely day out on my deck, but yet I have my office phone here. Let's take a look at this. This is a Cisco SPA525 phone. It is a SIP enabled phone and it's connected to my phone system. But the one difference about this one is it's connected to my home phone system as well as it's connected to a broadband hamnet mesh network. You look over here, <coughs> that is my router. Now it's not acting as a true router right now for your internet. This is a mesh node which is connected wirelessly to another mesh node that is in my basement. Let's go take a look at that one for a moment. Here we have my secondary node, or it's actually in some cases my primary node. This is a typical Linksys WRT54GL and it is running the broadband hamnet mesh network node software. Connected to this, you can see a few connections here, so I have a laptop plugged into it, and here is my Raspberry Pi connected to my mesh network and it is running um, Asterix RAS PBX software. So what, the phone you just saw, this is what it's connected to. Now you'll notice that the what I had running in the basement was a WRT54G Linksys router and that's the traditional router used for the broadband, broadband hamnet project. This is a Buffalo WHR HP 54G Wi-Fi router, and it has also been set up to run on the broadband handout software. It's fortunate this Buffalo router takes the same software or firmware image as the WRT 54Gs. So, a lot of hams out there, if you're looking for routers and you've got the WRT 54G, but you want something else, of course there is the ubiqu ubiquity hardware, which most people are looking for, but if you also happen to find one of these, you can use that as well. Now there's one more attachment to my network. Let's go take a look at that. Now we're here in my garage. And to take a look up here, you'll see another Buffalo WHR HP 54G router. This, however, is not a node. This is a regular router, but it's acting as a wireless access point. So this access point it's using tomato firmware, and if you don't know what tomato is, look it up. Not just a fruit or a vegetable, however you want to define it. It is a great software firmware package for routers if you want to replace the existing hardware, the existing firmware on it. So this is a router running tomato firmware. It is connected into a Ethernet port, which is running through my home electrical. Unfortunately, I couldn't get a LAN connection to my garage, so this is the best way I could do that. And this is running a hotspot specially designed and only attached to my broadband hamnet network. So why do I want to run a hotspot connected to my broadband hamnet network? There we go. My phone. So I've got my Android phone, Nexus 5, and if you watched one of my earlier videos, you learned how I taught you how to use a Nexus 5 running stock Android firmware and able to connect that onto a Wi-Fi spot and then connect into a VoIP network, into your phone system. So now I've done the same thing, only this time I've connected it to the phone system that is running on my broadband hamnet network. So let's show you how this works now. So here we go. This is a test on how it's going to work. So here's my Cisco SPA525 phone. I'm going to use the extension connected to my broadband hamnet uh, network going through this mesh node, which is I call the E3SKH tertiary, and it's going to connect to the E3SKH secondary, which you saw earlier in the video, connected to the RAS PBX asterisk 
um, system running on the Raspberry Pi. That'll process the call, and it's going to send it back into the network through that Wi-Fi hotspot you saw to my phone. Let's test her out. Hello? Hello? Put you on the speaker here. Hello? 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 So here I am, I'm talking on my SP8525 through the broadband hamnet network, and it's coming through the Wi Fi hotspot on my phone. Now the interesting thing about that whole phone call I made is none of it actually hit the internet. Yes, there is an internet connection available on the network I've been testing, but none of that call actually made it through the network. It's all just through the ham radio mesh network. So what is the purpose of a mesh network anyways? Well, for amateur radio operators, it's an opportunity for us to use commercial off-the-shelf hardware that we can configure and experiment with to try something different with it. Because normally your Wi-Fi router is only designed to plug into a computer network, connect a few computers into your house, and that's about it. But now with this, we can use it to connect across entire cities into a network that would be redundant and available in the event of an emergency. Running a phone system on a mesh network is just one application that you can do for it. You can get file servers, peer-to-peer uh, -peer chat messages, and lots of other things, IP video cameras, all over an uh, amateur radio-based network. Lots of experimentation going out there and it's really exciting. Thanks for watching this video. I've had a lot of great input from my last video where I talked about how I use my D-Star radio connected into my network. And a lot of people have asked, Do you have a, is it connected to a mesh network? And in fact, that connection you saw in that last video was connected to that hotspot. So technically my D-Star radio was running over my broadband Hamnet mesh network. So that's just one of the applications you can do. It's not just a phone system, uh, digital radio. So thanks to everyone who watched those videos and have asked me to do more videos like this. I really look forward to hearing those emails, so please enter them in the subscribe, subscribe to my channel below and enter in the comment section stuff you want to see or contact me directly. I love hearing from you guys. Thanks. Let's connect.